Live from Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, this is the Pix 11 Morning News with Sukanya Krishnan and Corey Chambers. All right, let's talk about this other story, 639. The death of a woman in Rockway basement seeking a butt enhancement surgery is sounding the alarm once again over unapproved plastic surgery procedures. Now, billions are being spent on legitimate plastic surgery, and the black market for these treatments is pretty much booming. Kirsten Cole here with her report on the underground world. And mm -hmm. we see it all the time, these underground places, and we just saw it in Far Rockaway. Dying to be beautiful. I, it, and what would drive a woman to go hundreds of miles to try to get one of these exactly. illegal procedures in a basement? Likely, word of mouth from friends. The owner of that home said that she had rented the Far Rockaway apartment to a nurse's aide who had dozens of women streaming in and out and a partner working with her until that fatal injection sent them fleeing. Kelly Mayhew came here to New York with her mom who had to make that terrible 911 call that her daughter was dying. But she's not the only woman to lose her life for an illegal cosmetic procedure. Do we blame it on our culture that idolizes nearly unattainable size and shape south of the border from the famous to other women just walking down the street? And while a big booty will set you back more than $10,000 in a legitimate surgeon's office, some women are paying just a few hundred dollars for these back alley injections. One problem is they have no idea what they're getting, and too often, it's toxic. Coming up at 7 o'clock, we're going to explore why that Maryland woman likely died, what these rogue injectors are actually putting into women's bodies, and lastly, how you can actually get a, safe, a safer, cheaper cosmetic procedure. There are ways to go safe and a little bit cheaper, mm -hmm. just not, you know, hundreds of dollars. Yeah, hundreds of dollars, and we've heard crazy things like they put cement in their, you know, it's insane Faces, what they put yeah. in there. But uh, we had a doctor explain to us why this likely happened, and we want to share that information okay. with women who might be thinking, but my friend had a great result, yeah, and right. that's not the right that's not the right way to do it. All right. Thanks okay, so much, Kirsten. It's 7.45 right now, and women are really risking their lives in search of cheap plastic surgery with a Maryland woman that we told you about yesterday dying in a basement over the weekend in Far Rockaway. This happened after she got illegal butt injections from a person who wasn't even a doctor. Yeah, dying to be beautiful. It's a story that we see again and again and again throughout the tri-state. Well, we're taking some serious dollars, too. We're talking about that. Some $26 million are being pumped into the butt inflation business. That's just some of it, and that's why uh, it is such a hot marketplace. So, Kirsten Cole is here with her report on this underground world and why women are willing to risk their lives and even die to be beautiful. Guys, are we finding the driving force in all of this here? We're seeing this sort of this artificial ideal mm -hmm. of what beauty is uh, surrounding us. Hundreds of millions of dollars being spent on plastic surgery every year, and a segment of the population that wants to get it but can't necessarily afford the real thing. Perfect storm and no shortage of illegal injectors and all too willing clients. Oh my gosh. Look at her butt. The pursuit of the perfect video worthy booty has many desperate women spending thousands to get it. But when plastic surgery is out of the budget, too often they're turning to the dangerous underground world of rogue injectors. It's believed Kelly Mayhew of Maryland was getting injected in this far rockaway basement when she suddenly lost consciousness and later died at a local hospital. I don't think this was a situation where, where the victim unfortunately got duped. I think she knew what she was doing and I think she knew what she was doing was risky and it was inexpensive and it was the only way to get it. And unfortunately, not everyone's a candidate or unfortunately, not everyone can afford it. These black market butt injections frequently cost hundreds instead of the $10,000 or more a plastic surgeon like Dr. Matthew Shulman charges. Recently, a transgender hip hop artist who bragged she created Amber Rose's famous backside was charged with the death of a woman who died getting butt injections in a Philly hotel. Prosecutors say the unlicensed woman, formerly a madam, hit a vein, sending toxic material to the victim's lungs, brain, and liver, killing her. Silicone injections into the buttocks is not FDA approved. So when you hear stories about someone getting injections and they immediately go into distress and then ultimately die, that's what we first think of um, an embolism or a clot of the material that went into the lungs and stopped their breathing and stopped their heart. So a lot of the stories we're hearing about are most likely using other silicone derivatives. So you've heard about stories of using caulking material and silicone that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's. 
So it's very different. Another red flag. Every cosmetic procedure should be done in a doctor's office or hospital, never a basement or hotel room. Shulman says when other patients ask him about traveling to have surgery in other less expensive regions of the U.S. or even foreign countries, he advises. Other areas will be cheaper, but they should be less expensive and not completely bottom of the barrel. You're saving money, but you can potentially be paying for it with your life. Four seconds. So Dr. Shulman says that yes, you can go to less expensive parts of the U.S. because a doctor spends less on his overhead. A Park Avenue plastic surgeon pays big bucks for his real estate and passes that cost along. But he also cautions against this tourism plastic surgery. Some turn out great, but others have infections, complications, need revisions, costing you more than it does to have it done with a U.S. surgeon in the first place. Mm -hmm. And he says it's a big part of his business. Yeah. He gets it. I mean, that show botched on mm -hmm. TV is all about surgeries that go bad. The Lowe's and Home Depot thing was shocking. Silicone and caulking because these these people who are unlicensed can't get their hands on medical yeah. grade silicone. Is there insurance? No. For, for these kind of no, okay, cosmetic things. Cos are cos it's, cosmetic it's is elective surgery. Yeah, that's right. You got to you got to pay for that out of your own I, I pocket. Know, which I is why know, women, I don't do cosmetic things. But so this I don't is know. the reason why women che you know yeah, search right. out these cheaper alternative. But you know sometimes you you pay the ultimate price. Yeah, and you don't want to do that. No, you don't have to die to be beautiful. No, thank you're you so beautiful much. just the way you mm -hmm. are. We that's say right. that all the time. Right Thanks, Kirsten. Pardon me for my silly questions. That's okay. Oh, it's fine. You're a guy. Yeah, it's okay. Seven fifty. <laughs> uh, 750.